Hello and welcome to today's walkthrough. Uh, in today's code walkthrough, I will show you how to calculate uh, NBA plus minus using play by play data. Uh, first off, I'd like to give a shout out to Big Data Ball. Um, this is where I've uh, gotten this data. They've generously provided uh, this play by play data. Um, you can check out their their other data sets just by going to bigdataball.com and you can go ahead and see that they have um, various sports uh, with plenty of data sets. Here's a preview of the data set that I'll be using for today's walkthrough. Um, this is using a game from the 2017-2018 regular season um, with the Houston Rockets versus the Golden State Warriors. So just a quick preview of the data. Uh, you can see uh, the types of the names of the players on the court. Um, A signifies the away players. H signifies the home players. Um, some more columns would show uh, the, the period of the game. So it would have uh, the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, your scores for each, the time of each play, uh, which team uh, got what event type, and you can just see a few more columns explaining, um, signifying which player did what. At the very end, you can see a description of each play, um, and so as you go down, you'll see each play uh, unfold throughout the whole game. So for today's walkthrough, um, I'll be showing you how to do, how to basically calculate this column right here, which is plus minus. Uh, this is, I pulled up the game right here. Um, this is that 2017-2018 regular season game against the Rockets versus the Warriors. These are the box score stats right here. And for today's walkthrough, like I said, I'll, I'll be showing you how to calculate this metric right here, plus minus. So, why don't we get started? Um, this notebook and all of the code will be available to you if you'd like to uh, run this notebook on your own. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is using Python, um, Python 3.7, and the only packages you'll be needing are uh, regex, numpy, and pandas. So why don't we get started? So this first box right here, I'm reading in the data. Um, as you can see, I'm using the Houston Rockets versus Golden State Warriors game. This is just a preview of the data, the same data set that I have open in the background. And I'll show you a little bit more about the data. Uh, I'm reading in the shape of the, the data set here. It's showing we have about 457 rows and 44 columns, the same data set that we have open right here. Some information about the columns themselves. Um, these are all the columns listed. And in order to calculate plus minus, we'll need to do a bit of data cleaning um, and a little bit of data wrangling to get, get us prepared. So first off, in order to get plus minus, we'll need to fill in some of the null values. And the reason for doing that is, as you can see from the data set, there are blank uh, values in some of these columns. Uh, most notably the points column, so we, we'll need to fill these in with zeros whenever there is a blank or missing thing. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to be next creating dummy player columns. So if you look at the data set, you'll see that players are listed uh, in one of five positions uh, for the away players as well as the home players, but as players get subbed in and subbed out, some of these players uh, might change from column to column. So you see PJ Tucker in A4 right here, and then in the next few rows we see PJ Tucker in A3 right here. So this causes uh, a little bit of difficulty in the analysis, so what we'll do is create dummy player columns right here. And I'll go ahead and run this, this set right here. Um, what we want to basically do is create dummy variables. We're using pandas get dummies function. Uh, we're doing a little bit of formatting um, 
some data cleaning again. And um, you'll see as I, I uh, bring this into it. So this is what we're doing right here. We have our dummy columns. Instead of having the names of the players in these four, these, any of these columns, we've essentially created new columns. And we're saying, whenever this player is on the court, uh, signify that with a one. And whenever this player is on the bench, signify that as a zero. So when you attach that to this data set, we can actually see we don't need to look at these columns anymore. We can just use our dummy columns to signify who's actually on the court and who's on the bench. So I'll show you the full list of players and the columns that we've added to our data set. And then next, we're going to be calculating plus minus. So um, how to do this is for any given player, uh, we want to count up the points scored by the player's team and points scored against the player's team when that player is on the floor. Then subtract uh, the points against from the points for. So just a refresher on plus minus. Um, plus minus is a metric that defines a player's impact on the game and is calculated as the difference between their team's total scoring versus their opponents when the player is on the court. So basically we want to understand what their impact is when they're playing and uh, when they're on the bench as well. So to get this started, uh, we'll want to initialize the data frame with player information. Go ahead and run this one. So as you can see, we need um, the player name as well as the team name. Don't worry about this column uh, just yet. We'll probably get rid of this in a later section below. But we need team information so that we can count all the points the team scored while this player was on the floor, and then um, the, the points scored by the opposite team. So the second step of this is to create a for loop to store the points team and opposing team scored while the player is on the floor. Let's go ahead and run this. So as you can see, I'll kind of just briefly walk through this step right here. We need to basically account for all the times the player is on the floor. So when that player is on the floor, it's signified as that one. And then when you count the, the team's points right here, and then this, this value gets uh, appended to P nested, which is up here, and then points against, which is, uh, again, when that player is on the floor, and then the opposing team right here. So that's minus M nested, and that gets stored in this function here. So I'll show you what this looks like. So in this plus list right here and minus list, we are basically counting all the times uh, when the player is on the court, um, how many points the team scored. So in the plus, we see all these points scored by the team. And then in the minus, we see all the points scored against while that player is on the court. So you see all these values. The next step of this is to create another for loop to sum all the plus minus values into separate lists. So as of now, we have one player, and these are all the times uh, the team scored while he's on the floor, and all the times the, scored, the opposing team scored while he's on the floor. Now we need to sum these up to basically get to our plus minus. So we're doing that in this next for loop right here. We're going through and basically summing up all these, and then summing all these. So I'll show you right here. So this is basically summing up the plus, and this is summing up the minus. You can see that altogether, while this player was on the floor, his team scored 81 points, and then the opposing team scored 94 points. So finally, we'll create the final data frame. We're using our P list and our M list to essentially create a new column for the plus and minus. And then from this plus minus, these two columns will actually create the, the actual metric plus minus through a subtraction. And I'll run this so you can see the final output. So here you go. 
while this player is on the floor, you can see um, their plus minus as well as their team information and uh, the negatives as well. Um, for any more questions, um, please visit da Big Data Ball where you can download this entire notebook and try this for yourself. Thank you so much.